Hi, my name is Anthony Littlejohn, and I. Hi, my name is Anthony Littlejohn, and I'm in eighth grade. I'm from Mary Bethune, and today I will be reading at Finding Langston, Chapter Six. The library looked different today. The smooth, polished floors filled through the hole in my shoes. And above where I thought I saw God is actually a pretty ceiling that comes to a point like a hat. I walk in circles, staring up that ceiling and bump into a woman with books. Excuse me, ma'am. I mumble as she cut her eyes at me. The lights come from the tall rounded windows behind the front desk where some woman stands, dressed nice and stamping books and answering questions. I don't remember how to get the room down, how to get to the room downstairs. The room I was in yesterday with tables and shorter bookcase. I turned one way, then another. Finally, I walked over to the front desk. I wait, but no one said anything, so I wait some more. I see you find your way home and back again. I hear behind me. I turn, it's the lady from yesterday. Would you like to look at more books, she asked. Wish I could make my mouth do some talking, but I mumbled, yes, ma'am. I look close as we pass by the shelves of books and big wooden tables and people sitting in chairs with rounded backs, round backs. We pass rows of pictures of colored people in frames like the ones in Miss Fulton apartment. Line up nice in one straight line, each person smiling back with a gold name plate under their picture. Who are they? I point at the picture on the wall. There are several of the authors from our lecture series. Of course, Chicago is home to many esteemed Negroes writers. She smiles. I nod like I know exactly what she's talking about. I don't see a white person anywhere. This is a library for color folks. I whisper. She stopped and the smile is gone from her face. A library for color folks. It's a library for Chicago residents. She says serious. I don't know what resident means, but it sound, like, sound to me like that mean it's a color library. We keep on walking. It is named for a color man, however. She keep walking. She has a way of think, taking, talking sounds like her lips are too tight for her face. George Cleveland Hall was a local physician. He served on the board of directors of one of the Chicago Public Library's first Negro member. So he built this here library. I asked nearly out of the breath trying to keep up with her. Listen, listen about Miss, Mr. Hall. Look at the book at the same time. She stopped short and I almost walked right into her back. He didn't build his library. She looked serious again, but it, it was because of the effort to ensure this community had a library that his branch was built 15 years ago. It was named in his honor. I nod again, pretending I understand. History ain't one of my favorite subjects, but I ain't never learned any history about colored folks being physicians and directors. Downstairs, I see kids my age, some younger than ones to with, ones to with their mother, sitting at the smaller tables, looking through books. When we get downstairs, she says, my name is Miss Campbell. I'm the adult librarian, but Miss Cook at the desk will help you with your selections. Her voice is so crisp and clear. She makes every word sound special. Miss Cook is the children library, librarian selection, so I don't know what any of those words mean, but I am aiming to find out. Thank you, ma'am, Miss Kimball, as she says. Thank you, Miss Kimball. I said happy when she turns to go back upstairs. I go back to the shelves and back to the books with the words from my heart. I take it from the shelf, looking around to make sure it's okay. I sat at one of the empty tables close to the windows and opened the book. I'm going to write me some music about Daybreak in Alabama. And I'm going to put the prettiest song in it, rising out of the grind like a swamp mist and falling, falling out of heaven like soft dew. I'm going to put some tall trees in it and the scent of pine needles, and the smell of red clay after rain. I have to stop. I can feel the choking in my throat that always start right before the tears. I look to make sure no one's watching, but everyone is looking at their book, at looking at their own book. Miss Cook is at her desk, busy snorting through cards. I stand so fast, I knock over my chair. 
Miss Cook look up, looks up. Would you like to check that out? She asked, check out more words I need to learn. Ma'am, I says. She waves me over. I stand in front of her desk and she tells me I can borrow any book I want with a library card. But first you need my name and address, a place where you can borrow books. I remember mama telling me. Before I get her my address, I ask, are you a librarian? Yes, I am, she answered with a smile. A librarian is someone who lets you borrow books in a library. One word down, I think. 4501 Wabush. She write that down in your name, Langston, I tell her.